and in that vacuum is the God light. Without that God light, we couldn't even move our hands. Something to think about, isn't it? This body is an inanimate thing. Without that God light, we wouldn't even move. And when you understand this, when you really understand this, there isn't anything that you cannot do within God's law. And that's the whole purpose of this. You know, my husband left school at nine and a half. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. You think of this then. At nine and a half, he went as an errand boy in an art store. And he earned enough money to keep ten people. His father was an alcoholic. And that little boy had to go out and earn the money to keep all of the babies and give to the world what he did in his awareness. Because it really started at this tender age of nine and a half, and he became one of the most famous men that we'll ever have on this earth. Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, when we had the dedication of Swan and Noah, I remember there were two public relations men going around here, and they went all around, and then they came to the table where Doctor has his pictures taken when he was skating. And one man said to the other, you know, he said, I can take all of this, but he said, this kind of gives a fellow an inferiority complex. <laughs> To think he did all of these things and that too. Now everyone can do these things, all of us. We all do the things that we want to do. It may not seem like much to someone else, but to us it's everything. And I hope that your visit here will mean something more to you than something to see. Something that you can pattern your own lives and know the fulfillment that Walter Russell knew. He knew the greatest fulfillment of anyone I have ever known. And he was always like a little boy. At 90 years of age, you know, we'd finish doing something and he'd say, and now what shall we do? <laughs> always doing something. Never sat and did nothing. So he didn't refold, wishing and hoping for something else, to go to heaven. And you know, your heaven is right here on earth, and your hell is certainly here on earth too. We make our own heaven and we make our own hell. And if you can only realize that when you work with love, you're creating your heaven on earth. That's what Jesus meant when he said, on earth as it is in heaven. Thank mm -hmm. you.